What's happening friends? Welcome to this week's King's Fall Raid Challenge on Golgoroth. To successfully beat this challenge, all you have to do is simply make sure that every member in your fire team grabs Golgoroth's gaze during every damage cycle. So in other words, when you drop an orb of fruit, say if you're doing the single orb strategy, all six players in your fire team will need to grab the gaze for that set cycle of damage. And this works out pretty smooth if you're using the single orb strategy. So here's some tips you can use to help make this a much smoother experience for you and your fire team. First up, before you even start the battle, it'd be a good idea to assign each player so that way you know the exact order of grabbing the gaze. This might work out easy if you simply just divide your fire team like usual, three on each side, maybe start grabbing the first gaze on the left side, that way you drop the left orb first. So the first player to grab Golgoroth's gaze is going to maintain it as you normally would on the single orb strategy. So the key would be to grab the gaze and hold it as long as possible. Now to set up the rotation of the six gazes, it'd be a good idea to have player two in the sequence actually head to a position on the far back right side or whichever position would be the complete opposite from the first gazer allowing player two to get into position and take a clear shot on Golgoroth's back to get the gaze. Now the goal here for player two is definitely to coordinate with player one so that way player two gets the gaze as close as possible to the zero second mark. It's really important to not grab that gaze too early as of course you're trying to maximize the amount of seconds that your DPS players have down in the pool of reclaimed light below. Once player two grabs Golgoroth's gaze, then the rest of your players in the fire team will jump out of the pool and then head to your positions. Definitely remember which player you are in the order for grabbing the gaze. This determines where you should probably head to on which side of the map you're on. And at this point, there's no time requirement to hold the gaze. So you can literally grab Golgoroth's gaze the second that his back opens up. So player four, five, and six will follow that one after another. And just like that, once you get to the sixth gazer, that player will hold the gaze for its entirety, and then it's rinse and repeat. You will repeat this sequence over and over again until you kill Golgoroth. That's all you have to do to beat the challenge. Now, some helpful tips to remember is number one, you can't let any player in your fire team die. Now, yes, I know there is some technical way to bypass this, but the general idea is that you'd want no players to die because all six unique players in your fire team have to get the gaze. Number two, as I mentioned earlier, it's not required to grab all six orbs. And that's what makes the single gaze strategy work out pretty smooth. Once you get into the rhythm of maximizing your DPS, remembering that the first gaze will always be a little longer than the rest of the gazers, except for player six, of course, you'll realize that you can easily take out Golgoroth in three to four cycles of full damage. The third tip is know your zone. Know exactly where you're headed to. If you know that you're gonna be player three, for example, know exactly what spot you're going to be standing at to grab the gaze. And if you've never gotten Golgoroth's gaze before, or you're somewhat uncomfortable, on hard mode, Golgoroth will be firing four floating projectiles at you. You don't wanna really move around much. If you actually get in your spot and stand in place, those orbs will travel in somewhat of a straight line and you can literally take them out with very minimal damage. And my last tip is about damage overall. If you're just not doing enough DPS or maybe you're playing with a lot of players that have lower light level gear, don't forget that you can actually use that debuff on hard mode called the Unstable Light to damage Golgoroth. So when you see that you've received that Unstable Light and you see that seven second countdown, try and time it to where you actually stand under Golgoroth or you can just jump over him right as it turns from one second to zero, and then let the AoE effect of this debuff do the work, as you'll see that this debuff actually damages Golgoroth rather significantly. So I hope these tips provide some added help in case things get a bit rough for you or your fire team members. If you enjoyed this guide here today, then like the video by hitting that like button down below, and thank you all for hanging out, stopping by, and watching. I'll see you next time. I was like, oh no. I was scared too, honestly. Gonna shut you out, yeah, yeah. Ooh, did you guys both get these weird artifacts? Yeah, it's a new artifact.